Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this traffic spawn system where you can spawn random cars. So let's go. So first of all we need some cars that we can actually spawn. For this I created a parent class called car. It is just a wheeled vehicle and from this I created some child blueprint classes. These pickup, sports car, SUV and the truck. I just replaced the skeleton mesh. To spawn the cars we will use these streets here, these are from the path calculation tutorial, link is in the description. So let's take a closer look, we have the box collision and the splines so that the AI are follow the line itself. But important for this tutorial are these spawn points. When we take a closer look, these are just static meshes that I painted black. And of course they have no collisions as you can see and they are hidden in the game. Important is the location and the rotation of course because these are the values that actually will spawn the car. So we have a spawn point 1 and 2 on this side of the road and spawn point 3 and 4 on this side of the road. And another important part are these check traffic 1 and 2 box collisions. They will check the density of each part of the road. For this we need a function that called check density. The check density function starts with a for loop where the first index is 0 and the last index is 3. So these are just the amount of spawn points that we have. We take out the check traffic 1 and 2 here. We say get overlapping actors, put this on the car, so the parent class, get the length, then we check integer is above another integer, put this to 1 and just copy and paste this down here for check traffic 2. Great. The next thing is we go from the index and ask in range integer. Minimum is 0, maximum is 1, so we check is the index 0 or 1. Copy and paste this down here, again from the index up here, and we check the 2 and 3. Of course we need a branch to ask, so first of all we ask is it 1 or 2. Then again on true we ask is this over 1 here. We need another branch down here from the false case, on the, from the first branch we go down here and check the condition and we need a last branch on the of course true case to check the last condition. So in this way we will check the density of the traffic. Then we want of course actually spawn some cars. The spawn function gets one input, this will be the index as an integer. And of course when we want to spawn cars we need some cars, so let's create a variable called cars. This will be a car class reference, very important, and this of course as an array. When we now compile and save this, we can put some elements here. Let's put here five elements and as you can see we can choose our child classes. So the Firebird, Pickup, Sports Car, SUV and the Truck. Great! So let's take out the cars here and the first thing we need is the length as well as a copy. And then we just go from the integer here and say random integer. So in this way we get every time a random car that spawns. The next part is we get out our spawn points here, all of these like that. And then we just call the make array function, put of course all pins up here like this, get a copy as well and put the index up here. Then we get the player character and cause to our third person character in this case. The reason for this is we want to check the distance between the player and the spawn point because it would be stupid that the car spawns actually right in front of the player so we have to calculate a side radius where the car cannot spawn. For this of course we get the world 
location of the mesh. Of course, from the spawn points as well, from here, get world location as well as get world rotation. Then we go from the return value here, vector minus vector, return value goes down here, get the length of course, so the vector length. From this we say float is above another float and let's put this to 10 thousand to have a side radius. Of course, we need the branch to ask. So we go from the cause third person character to the branch. And after this, of course, we want to actually spawn something. So we say spawn AI from class. Let's get our random cars up here, put them up here. And from the get, we say this will be our pawn class. Of course, we get the world location and the world rotation of the spawn points up here. And the last part is we just have to cast to our car again. Then we want to set the AI boolean. This is from the another tutorial. Link is in the description again. And then we just call the drive function. And the last part is we go back to the check density function and just call our spawn function on both false cases and connect the index as well. So let's go back to our street here. To avoid performance issues, we need a spawn radius for this. So right click blueprint class actor spawn radius. Open this up. And we need just one thing, a sphere collision. Go to the details, put this on 50,000. Go down here, on component begin overlap. You can of course delete the rest of this. And then we just cast to our third person character. We take out the sphere here, get overlapping actors, put this to our street blueprint. In my case, it's called blueprint straight street. Go from this, say for each loop, connect it. Again, we cast to our street like that. And then we just call the check density function. And of course, to keep the traffic alive. We will need a little delay here of let's say five seconds. On complete, we go back to the for each loop. And the last part is we go back to our parent class, so the car, and we need a despawn function depending on the distance to the player. So we just call this despawn. Of course, we get the player character caused to the third person character here like this get the world location from the mesh get the reference to self as well get the world location of the mesh so the car and then we just go from here and say vector minus another vector like this get the vector length. Then we check to see float above another float, put this to 40,000. Of course, we need the branch to ask like this. And then on true, we just destroy the actor. So this will be the despawn function that the cars are not unlimited spawning. And then we just have to call the function, of course. So we pull out the despawn here on event tick, where we calculate in the staring of the AI and just call the despawn function. Great. And then we just place the spawn radius inside the world. You can use the top view for this and just place it up here like this. Let's see if this works. We hit play, go on here. The traffic is spawning. As you can see, the density works pretty good. Great. 
So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.